During the general audience, Benedict XVI called for peace in Libya and the Ivory Coast, saying that all channels of peaceful dialogue should be opened to avoid more deaths. La violenza e l'odio sono sempre una sconfitta. Per questo rivolgo un nuovo e accorato appello a tutte le parti in causa affinché si avvii l'opera di pacificazione e di dialogo e si evitino ulteriori spargimenti di sangue. The Pope expressed his hopes for Cardinal Peter Turkson, whom he appointed as papal envoy to Ivory Coast, for his safe entry to the country in order to help rebuild the peace. Continua a seguire con grande apprensione le drammatiche vicende che le care popolazioni della Costa d'Avorio e della Libia stanno vivendo in questi giorni. Mi auguro inoltre che il canale Turkson che avevo incaricato di recarsi in Costa d'Avorio per manifestare la mia solidarietà, possa presto entrare nel paese. Prego per le vittime e sono vicino a tutti coloro che stanno soffrendo. The Pope said he is praying for the victims and expressed his closeness to all those who are suffering from the consequences of the violence. Benedict XVI dedicated his catechesis of the general audience to St. Therese de la Sue, a Carmelite nun who died at just 23 years old and was proclaimed patroness of the missions by Pope Pius XI and a doctor of the church by John Paul II in 1997. The Pope also noted that this saint has a crucial importance in the history of the church. Her name in religion, Sister Therese of the Child Jesus and the Holy Face, expresses the heart of her spirituality, centered on the contemplation of God's love, revealed in the mysteries of the Incarnation and Redemption. The Pope explained how St. Therese de Lisier fell ill and offered all her suffering as salvation for the souls of the world. He also said that this saint can serve as an example to all of us. Theresa found her vocation to be love in the heart of the Church. May her example and prayers help us to follow the little way of trust and love in spiritual childhood, abandoning ourselves completely to the love of God and the good of souls. Among the nearly 10,000 attendees filling St. Peter's Square for the general audience, several bands and choirs perform songs dedicated to the Pope. <laughs>